This is Can We Just Talk, the podcast and YouTube series where it doesn't matter if you're living under a rock. We'll fill you in on the past week's biggest, weirdest, and most impactful stories, headlines, and developments in a nice casual conversation. Set your volume, settle in, because coming to you from a random basement in New Jersey, this is Can We Just Talk. Episode 22, we've got a new face joining us, actually returning from several weeks back, but other than that, full crew all here. Uh, Trudy Savino, Richie Balbrock, Austin DiSpino, Jacob Berg, Sammy Dahl filling in for Sacco. She Hello. is providing the namesake that we all know and love. She's keeping the Sacco name, so honoring our very famous Chris Saconis, the fan favorite. Um, so, guys, we're excited to get started. How's everyone doing? Um, You know, the usual. It really just for me, Troy, personally, it depends on how Chris is feeling. Well, we've had Sam. So Sam is back. Chris, yes. how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, I actually did just buy off Amazon a model plane kit. Oh. I'm really excited to build it. Um, probably do that next weekend with a nice cup of joe Chris, on the radio. Chris is old and he does like planes. So not we're not going to be able I'm to doing, make those. I'm doing great then. I'm Perfect. doing great. Can you tell that I'm talking without moving my mouth and trying something new this week? Yeah, not a good idea for a podcast. Wait, it's <laughs> all about like podcast. the best audio quality possible. So. Hello, this is Austin. I'll have that was a actually great pretty, week. pretty wow, impressive, nice Austin. Office, you ever try uh, being a ventriloquist? Never a day in my life have I ever done that. It's not bad. Jacob, how Thank are you? you? Oh, I'm good. Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to say, Jacob, I'm a little upset. We had the fire last night. My jacket still smells like a bonfire, or it smells like a fire pit, and I'm not too happy bonfire. about it. Bonfire. So. It's almost like, you know, there's this machine. It's kind of like yay big, and you kind of put your clothes in there. A whole ordeal. And then whole you ordeal. put some soap, and then wow, water goes somebody in, grew up rich. swishes around. Listen, listen, I had to wear it this morning. What was I going to go out without a jacket? I don't, Some of us you only have, have one more winter coat. One jacket. You have yeah, some of us only one. wear one I've shirt, two you Troy. Wear the other one. Why don't you show the world how many freaking Jacob, shirts I'm not gonna you have on wearing, right now? I'm not going to be wearing my fancy Calvin shirt. Klein jacket to McDonald's. I'm not doing step that. Out, step out. Step out and strut. Yeah, show your stuff. Why are you ashamed to be in the river? Yeah, yeah shirt, exactly. Not... Yeah, Chris used to have to wash his clothes in the river. <laughs> Besides the point, let's get started. Jacob, you always, uh, you know, you have the honor of kicking off the episode every week. So what do you got for us on the big news, the big headline of the week? All right. Yeah, I'd say this is one of the one of the bigger headlines of the week. Um, the stimulus check uh, getting passed through the Senate. Um, pretty important um, step there. I think it has to go back down. Uh, to the House for voting again and then go over to President Biden, but it's likely to pass in the House pretty easily. Um, so it's it's quite likely now that we're, we're looking at another round of stimulus. Uh, $1.9 trillion, a lot of it focused towards getting money into the hands of people who need it, helping schools to open, helping states to you know continue to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. There were uh, a couple takeaways that I had just from this general event, and obviously the article kind of just uh, outlined some of the more specific stuff, like um, you know it'll be a fourteen hundred dollar stimulus check, and uh, I guess the Senate made a couple other small changes, but there was a couple couple things, couple takeaways I had. The first one would be obviously it's good to see that uh, money is going to the folks that need it, to the people who've been out of work, to the people who've been struggling as of late just due to the covid pandemic and and all the changes that is that have been happening i know um economically and stock market wise we tend to be uh trending in a much better light right now but i still think this will be very helpful especially for the uh you know people who are who are uh struggling due to covid um the next thing i had was so the the vote passed with a vote of uh, 40, 50 to 49, because one Senator didn't vote because he was out of town on, he was, he was, uh, at a family funeral. So he was out of town for some reason. I just think personally, it is just dumb that the Senate hasn't figured out a way to have votes other than in person. Like, I, 
I can manage, I can do almost anything from my phone, from my computer. I, the Senate can't like figure out how to you know, make a vote work just so that people can vote without being right in Washington, D.C. the whole time. I think that's kind of like, silly. I feel like all they should do is just get a Kahoot going. Pop a yeah, Kahoot. I mean, that's all you yes need. or no. You can get some good music. Also, that will speed it up a lot. So, if, like, the Democrats answer faster. Do they get more vote power? <laughs> I think it prioritizes <laughs> the importance of the role, right? It's like, if you're going to be a senator, you need to be committed. There can be nothing else more important than this other than, like, family or something like this. And I, that's always kind of what I took away. Like, if you have to be in person to do something, it's like, this has to be the most important thing, which I think is pretty cool. Because you know that if they didn't have to do that, you would never see some some of these senators and congress people that just don't never would be in dc that's a fair argument i just think that there should be some way like if there is or a family evaluating you know. circumstance that they should still like be able to have a vote yeah. um and then the last thing i thought was a pretty big takeaway that i see a lot of people talking about on social media is that the 15 dollars minimum wage got taken out of the bill and I'll, I'll let if anyone has some thoughts on that uh, before but, I, I get to my take there by by the time that that is passed and there's a $15 minimum wage because this has been being talked about for like five years now we're going to be at a point where they're talking about having a $20 minimum wage because it's just taking absolutely forever I feel like this was something that was a part of like the 2012 election it's yep. I can't believe how long we've been talking about this we're getting to a point where like we're seeing small marginal increases in minimum wage to some states that were almost at like twelve dollars. Like California, I believe, is like twelve dollars minimum wage. So like this isn't so far fetched anymore. We're not that far away. When when this started, most states were like eight fifty uh, eight fifty an hour, and now we're like creeping up past ten, close to eleven. It's just this is taking so long. By the time it passes, we're gonna be talking about twenty dollars minimum wage per hour. It it is twelve in New Jersey right now. It's more than. That. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, not that I'm making a minimum wage. I'm making a lot more money than that. But I do happen to know people that are making minimum wage, and it is like 12 30 or 12 50 or Is that new? Did that pass? Because I feel like it wasn't that a little while ago. It, you wouldn't know. I think it was it as of this January. I think it was as of this January. But, yeah, no, between this podcast and Polar Music's um, fame, yep. I'm making so much. I mean, look at my he watches. Is. Is. I have two He's watches on. Look at this ice. Look at it. Jeez. Wow. Old Rollies, yeah. freezing. Not a how, big deal. Jacob, Jacob, how much is the um, how much is the stimulus check per? Uh, fourteen hundred. Um, and just one one note to get back there. So they did actually vote on the fifteen dollar minimum wage separately. Um, I think it was they were voting on whether to include it or not. I'm not quite sure, but it seemed like uh, forty two of the Democrats voted for it eight against and all 50 Republicans against the $15 minimum wage. But I think my, my take just stemming from that would be that um, I kind of just wish things were more simple when they did these votes. Like uh, I, I understand like you can feel one way or another on whether we should have a $15 minimum wage or not. Um, but I feel like in terms of like how the Senate works, how they bring up bills and how things get passed, I feel like, they really shouldn't like stack the bill. Like to say, like, cause I, I feel like you're like a $15 minimum wage is, is not really, I don't think it's that relevant when it comes to a stimulus. I think it's something that they should t talk about. They can consider more now due to COVID, but I feel like it's, it's separate enough from the stimulus and it's a big enough point of contention that I feel like it should have its own bill and that it should be, kind of discussed and voted on separately that's that's kind of my thoughts jacob that's why when we were talking about the first stimulus check that's why it took so long for it to get passed because there was stuff being thrown into it that really had very little to do with actual the stimulus check itself i mean there was stuff being thrown in from the democratic side that had to do with climate control and climate change and this was back in like may this is why it took so long to get out the first time politicians on both sides are throwing things in as like bartering pieces because they know if it's standalone they probably wouldn't be able to get it passed through this just gets it to the floor a lot quicker they can use like they can use the overall arching we were we will pass the stimulus bill that the democrats or the republicans want if you agree to this and you let us get you know for this example a 15 dollar minimum wage um so the democrats really trying to kind of push that in there almost sneak it in there 
to get it as an added piece, which is, is it the time or the place to do that? At least a $15 minimum wage has something a little bit more to do with providing some stimulus and boost to the economy. Um, but we've seen some kind of ridiculous stuff in there since like March. Yeah, I guess I just have a hard time like thinking that they couldn't find any type of compromise that that both sides could do. And they have to like kind of resort to either like making trade offs like that objectively where it's like outside of really the purpose of the bill um, or to just like obviously use their majority. Uh, it's just just kind of surprising to me. But yeah, I see where you're coming from. Awesome. I mean, you you know what I think. I think politics is kind of gross. I think the stimulus bill took uh, much too long for it to happen. I think it was it was uh, kind of gross that it didn't happen uh, twice. I think fourteen hundred dollars to get from last March until now is or two. Yeah, it was fourteen hundred, right? The first bill or two thousand. First one was like eight. Was it eighteen hundred? Eight. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. I think it, I think it was two. 12. I think it was it two thousand. No, it wasn't too. I think, I think it was, was twelve hundred. But 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 so twelve hundred dollars to get from March to two thousand twenty to March two thousand twenty one. Well, think no, we there was another. Is, we've had two, I think. Yeah, okay, like it was like right. six hundred dollars. It was like six hundred dollars. Um, again, I don't think that's I don't think that's enough. But the, I don't want to delve into that. I think um, the the minimum wage thing is interesting. Uh, the I think the higher you climb in power. Uh, and the more wealth you have, I think it's natural to lose a connection with uh, common struggles with the with a large majority of people, and and therefore, which is going to decrease empathy towards that. And I think it's hypocritical where you see all these politicians saying, um, "What are the essential workers? Essential workers? Essential workers? We love our essential workers. We love them. Protect them. Praise them. Throw them pizza parties. But do everything except give them the money they deserve." So a lot of the people that have been working most of this pandemic have been the minimum wage workers or the people that have at least been working in, in, a, in a way that are, they're not working from home are minimum wage workers. And it's like, oh no, give them all the praise, give them all the praise, but do everything but compensate them uh, properly. And minimum wage doesn't mean minimum effort. And, and as I think all of us here have worked minimum wage jobs and some might still not, definitely not Richie though, it's hard work. It's not, it's, it's not easy. It's not a walk in the park. Um, so it, it is what it is. I'm glad it got passed. I hope people that really need it, get it. And um, I'm with you, Jacob, but I, I don't think, I don't have faith in things changing. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be the way it is. Chris, your thoughts on this? Yeah. You know, I've had two minimum wage jobs. Um, the first, the first one was at a Halloween's door and the second one was at Lowe's and I made 11.30 at Whoa. Lowe's. I know. It was that was higher than minimum wage. It was, yeah. And um, that was fine for me as a, as a college student, um, fund my Starbucks trips. But the, um, my coworkers, they were, you know, had rent and all this stuff to pay. And that was not enough for them. And they would always complain. And I felt so bad because I was taking their hours a lot. And I was just put on the schedule too much. And I didn't want to work those. I felt bad that I was taking their hours. I think like during the summer, they were um, getting mad at whoever was taking their hours. And be like, so, so what you're saying is higher minimum wage. Higher minimum wage. Wait. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Finish your finish your. Oh, yeah. But. <laughs> But definitely, I feel like I definitely worked harder than $11 an hour, even though I thought that was enough for me at the time. Um, I was up at 3 a.m. watering plants. <laughs> that should not be it minimum a, wage. Like if you have to wake up. It was up a fun time. Six, that's really. not minimum wage. Like, so, Chris, you said you worked during college at Lowe's? During the summer. When did – I don't think Lowe's was around back then. That's a long time yeah. ago. I didn't think Lowe's it was actually just – it was low. It was only the was single location. Low. <laughs> one, one low. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's a good one, Troy. That it was, was funny. He said that was it. it that was was split, split time between there and the general store. <laughs> I didn't think it was funny. 
running papers. Krauser. Yeah. Ask me what milk. minimum wage was when I was in high school. You want to you want to feel young? And oh, you want me to back play? in my day, yeah. they would give me yeah. a nickel and a slap on the back. <laughs> I got paid yeah. ginger ale and nickels. No, it was uh, seven forty. Seven forty when I worked at Dunkin' Donuts is when minimum wage. That's what it is in Pennsylvania. That's yeah, is it really? Mm -hmm. What uh, seven forty five? Yeah, that's what I got at school. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah, I'd, I'd fight that. I'd fight that. Well, when the real Chris was actually, when he started, he was telling me some stories. He can't defend himself here, but he actually worked in a meat packaging plant and they didn't have, they didn't have any right restrictions there. He used to line up out by the entrance every morning, hoping he could get a spot in there. It's during the great depression. It was really hard to find work. There was no minimum wage. Two sandwiches. It was tough. It was tough. And then he had to, he got shipped out and world war two was a few years after that. So it was tough for him, but you know, he, he worked, he grinded, he, he is where he is now. He could afford a computer and he was able to join us on Can We Just Talk on a weekly basis. So it's, you start there, but had it been $15 an hour when he was working in that meat packaging plan, he would, he would do a lot better. Richie, your thoughts Can on this? Can I just ask why, why are you speaking for Chris when he's on your podcast yeah, right seriously. now? When he's literally here, you're, Man's we're boring. looking I do have some things to say about that. He's a man The meat packing times. Listen, we all... Sammy is filling in for the whoa, 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 whoa. She, needs, she needs the credit she deserves. She's joining. She needs recognition. It's Sammy Dolph. I said that on the introduction anyway. It is me. No one. I'll be, Troy, her name is Sammy Dolph. Her, no, name, her name literally says to Sacco <laughs> for Chris. That's in cosplay. Do you like. <laughs> do, Richie, how do you. Do you know how to spell Chris's last name? It's Sacco, isn't it? Yeah, but that's how you spell it. Sakonis. No, chat. That is Chris. That's I'm literally his name. Don't listen to Troy. Don't listen yeah. to Troy. I did it get is. the piercing, guys. Yeah. Yes. You're supposed to be on the E for Chris, but close, it was close enough. There we go. Whoa. See? Okay. Go. All righty. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully DC can get it maybe sorted out a little bit. Maybe. I think we lost Troy. Did we lose everyone? I see Sammy. Can you can you guys hear me? So we lost Troy. Sammy, can you hear me? Jacob, can you hear me? All right. Richie, I can hear you, Austin. Richie, can you hear me? Is Richie on is Troy on the Wi-Fi? So let's uh you know, let's go to the next topic. So Jacob, you talked about the minimum wage. Uh Sammy, what was uh what's your your uh topic so i have another uh covid story for you guys uh this one's a story about a new type of test so what do we have now we got the spit test and we got the nasal swab test i have taken both um they're both you know slightly uncomfortable a little awkward but they get the job done uh this dutch inventor um has discovered hopes he discovered a new type of covid test and it is one that could potentially uh, make and screening and faster, faster and, and easier. easier. Oh, Sam has got to meet There we go. So uh, it is a scream test. <laughs> so what they do scream? is they put you in a big box and you scream into a tube. You blow like a lot of air into this tube and you get your COVID test. So I guess the rationale behind this is that you, obviously coronavirus is an airborne virus. It is trapped through your, it is passed through um, talking, screaming, you know, air, air, the air. That's why we wear masks. Um, but this one is supposed to sense it in like a very concentrated way. Uh, but unfortunately uh, it really doesn't work. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot of false awesome. negatives, and yeah. um, because of the way that the virus spreads, there's no real way of um, certifying whether or not it gets into the tube when you scream in there. Um, yeah. But these guys seem to think it's really fun, you know, just to scream in a box. Uh, they think it's very therapeutic, but there's a lot of uh, false negatives. And my favorite quote from this article is when asked about how the apparatus works, they say, 
how the apparatus works, we can't estimate it because we know too little about it. They so uh, <laughs> safe to say it's not passed. It's not been you know approved by the FDA or any sort of CDC as a, a standard test. Um, but yeah, cool. you know, people are trying and people are researching new things and I appreciate the grind, I do. Um, and Sam, I'd love to know your guys' it? thoughts about this. Who made this? The staff of Flemington Chili's? Like, what group got funded to do <laughs> a this? A group in Amsterdam. Oh, of course. The Amsterdam. Yeah. Is oh, that the yeah. Dutch? The Dutch, right? Well, the Dutch. Amsterdam is from where Why does that? That makes no sense. Why is that? Why are they called the Dutch if they're from Amsterdam? Why aren't they like the Amsterdamites? You know what? You're right. Well, it's Netherlands. We don't talk about that enough. Yeah, it's Netherlands. But, but Sammy, what, what I right. want to know... <laughs> How how long do you have to scream for? Is this like one or two good screams, or is this like horror movie? We just keep screaming for like a whole minute or two. We might maybe like lose your voice screaming. You know that is a very good question. I do not. Can know. you demonstrate for us? <laughs> I'm not going to demonstrate for you. Um, ah. I think it would break my vocal cords. But I will say you probably have to scream for a good 25 to 30 seconds, which is a lot. Die. Are you going to say you minutes? Know? The test would be if you can actually do that, you don't have COVID. Because if you do have COVID, your lungs will yeah. just crumple up like an old like water <laughs> bottle. I agree. I, listen, this is what Come they on, should Troy. do. They should scream get the for box. 30 seconds for us. I, I can't do it. My lungs aren't that good. <laughs> I, what should do is they should get the box. They should get one of those magic sniffing dogs that we talked about a couple weeks ago. Put them in there. If the dog barks when he's screaming, he's got COVID. There's no other reason to it's do it. It's a double test. I don't know there why we need a double test. You buy, you have the box. You got the dog. You got the screaming. Everyone wins. Dogs don't make anything worse. So why not do this? Um, the real question is where did Richie go? I'm just wondering that. Uh, I, I called him. He didn't answer. I don't know where he went. I'll go check. Hold on. Oh, oh here he is. All right. Well, there we go. Pull up a chair, buddy. All right. Richie, come on in. Well, this Water's is gonna be tough because you guys buddy. aren't wearing headphones, but nonetheless, I think it's an interesting idea. Oh, yeah. I th I'm I'm happy to see that people are trying to innovate and do new things when it comes to the testing situation. Uh, had it worked, I think it'd be a very fun way to do it. I think it'd be a lot more fun than having to stick a, a swab like a foot up your nose. I'd much rather just scream in a box. So I like that they were, they were trying to do that. Um, so good for them, but too bad it didn't work. Too bad. That's crazy. What are you, Richie? Think, your Rich? thoughts on this? Yeah, no, I totally agree with what Troy said. I mean, the fact that people would do it, and not not so much that they would do it, but the fact that they would do it in the mannerism and the kind of <laughs> culture surrounding that, and how not thinking about how that's going to affect other people, and just right. it just it's a little immature to me, if that makes sense. If you if you see where what I'm are your talking. thoughts on the science behind it? Well, I, first I want to see Richie take your best guess of what we're talking about because yeah, I know you walked in halfway through. <laughs> um. Oh, the chat says Richie's right. No. Yep. I yeah. Look at the chat, buddy. Um. Can't chat. Don't lie. Chat. Don't lie. I mean, we're probably so. Take your best guess. Lil Uzi Vert's head diamond. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was so popular uh, last time. We had to bring it back. We had to bring it back. Jacob, your your thoughts on this? I mean, yeah, it, innovation's cool. Like how they're like how they're trying new things. I hope that you know maybe we get maybe a little bit more realistic, more effective thing for our for I mean, it's not ours for Netherlands research dollars, but you know they're trying new things. They're trying different ways, and I think you know as we move into now post COVID. There's going to be changes to how we just do things in our society. So more research, more knowledge about how diseases are passed, how they can be tracked, how you, they can be tested for is usually a good thing, I'd say. I, it, to be honest, it sounds like a good idea. It sounds like the science checks out. I don't know anything about science. But no, I mean, theoretically, um, why not? Why not? Like, no, you didn't even know Amsterdam was in the Netherlands. I'm not familiar with that part of the world. <laughs> I've never we been there. We watched Euro Trip. We watched Euro Trip. It's so confusing. Why are they? Why are they called the Dutch? Why are we called Americans? Because we're from America, North America, the United States. So, we're like, why America. do you have two shirts on? Why do you have two shirts on? That's the question. That's, that's One's true. an undershirt. 
Um, I I'm always just, wear undershirt. I'm, I don't go. Jacob, wrong. you've been you've been to Amsterdam. Did you ask anyone why they're called the Dutch? Uh, no, Dutch I just googled Dutchies. it like a normal person. <laughs> and in this case, in Old English, Dutch meant people or nation, and that's why. Seems very broad. So, are we Dutch? Oh. Are we the Dutch? Dutch or the Dutch. people? No, no, I, I don't think we made. I don't think we made English. So. Are you oh. talking about America is the oldest and greatest country in the world? We invented. Wait, it. you're telling me the Dutch made English? Yield. I mean, yeah. They I mean, really? maybe not I entirely themselves, English. but I'm sure they had a, a part in it. They were pretty old uh, culture. Hmm. English is made up of a lot of different. I would rather English, English, English was created by I, English. English. I thought it was English from England. It used to be. More than what England is now. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Hmm. Well, too bad oh, it didn't work. Could have been great. Some little country that we whooped up on. They got We're all that so crappy bad. soccer teams there. Um, all right, let's let's slide away. I have an interesting story. I want to want to fill you guys in on, and then we'll get to Austin. He can wrap it up for us. But weird story. It's coming out of Minnesota. It is about. A snowplow. There was a naming contest that went into this. So they pulled the people of the city um, and a legacy that will never die. After asking the citizens of the city what they want to name the snowplow, they'll be servicing the roads. The crowd voting came out to be Plowy McPlowface. That is what they decided <laughs> to name the snowplow. What Some city? of the other finalists, uh, Minnesota. It's, it's somewhere in Minnesota. Um, Minnesota. Some of the. Uh, some of the other votes, which there was 122,000 of them, and some of the other – this is St. Paul, by the way, one of the, one of the state's largest Tuesdays, by the way. Um, some of the other finalists in order of votes include, Ope, just going to plow right past you. <laughs> Second one was Duck, Duck, Orange, Duck. Funny. Th three was Plow, Bunyan. Four was Snowby, Juan, Kenobi. Five was oh, Asphalt, that's good. Gerald. Six was Darth Plater. And the last one was the truck formerly known as Plow. So, Plowy McPlowface one. I feel like that's the least creative of all of them. But yeah. Plowy McPlowface is servicing the roads of St. Paul, Minnesota. If you see it driving by, you know who it is. Your thoughts all on right, this? All right. Troy, I got a question for you. And, and this happens any time that you ask for public involvement in naming anything. <laughs> <laughs> what what percentage of responses do you think had to be like filtered because they were inappropriate or explicit for some reason? I'm <laughs> I'm gonna say north of fifty, north of fifty percent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So in February, the state's Department of Transportation shortlisted fifty names following twenty two thousand submissions from residents, and the eight names receiving the most votes were just announced. They didn't announce any of the, the bad ones, obviously, but. If you're familiar with anything that happens on the internet, you know, like probably north of 50%. Because most of the people who were probably answering that questionnaire were taking it as a joke and they just wanted to see how far they could push the line. And guess what? Plowy McPlowface won. So I'd say almost 100% of the people who were involved were just doing it to have fun. The, Do we think we can come up with a better name? I don't know. I think you can't beat that, to be honest. I think some of the other ones that they listed, I would have gone with Ope just going to plow right past you because I don't see how that's Too a name. Too long. <laughs> it's how I plowed your mother. Whoa. 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 Jacob. Whoa. Jacob. Jacob. Oh, my God. It's weird over here. Oh, my God. All right. Um, Hold on. Jacob mother. gets a timeout after that. Yeah, that's too bad. That's yeah, not. This, that's this, that's timeout. Timeout. Richie, your thoughts yeah. on this? Oh, Austin, I meant. Sorry. It's fine. I wasn't trying to get him for the last no, five minutes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead yeah, go ahead. I think it's a great name. I think it's definitely something I would have put into it. I'm really glad you asked me to uh, interject here. <laughs> I've been trying to get a hold of you this whole pod. Uh, I think Plowy McPlowface is something that I would come up with, and therefore the people of Minnesota have um, – can I say shit? Have your shit straight. It's, it's a podcast. Oh, did I just? Can we curse? You're allowed this? to say that word. Can we curse? Yes. Wait. Can we? Wait. Wait. Anyway, Austin, what are your? Oh, thoughts? I got another one. I got another one. 
There's ahead, no James. plow like show business. Okay. So All right. Remove him from. Remove him. Remove him. Uh, remove him. No, I like that one. That one was good. It wasn't so vulgar. So I, I think you could have done snow business at the end too, if you really want to mix it up. Yeah, that's better. Austin thoughts. Um, I think they were smart to have a set uh, list of names because there's a long history of the internet finding out a poll and hijacking it and and changing it. And I found a. I, I found an article that has like all of the best times that's happened and like it's all when there's been contests. So like Taylor Swift almost had to perform for a school for the deaf where there was like a contest to write in which school she performed. <laughs> um, <laughs> people people actually did uh there was a contest to vote <laughs> which which Walmart <laughs> <laughs> oh, he played at, and he got sent to the most remote Walmart in uh, Kodiak, Alaska. Um, there's just so many. There was there's so many uh, like Greenpeace names a tagged whale, Mister Splashy Pants. Like there's so so many good uh, like, and I, I don't know if you remember a couple years ago with the NHL. There was just like bruiser that's just been around forever. <laughs> I can't get over the school for the deaf. I know. <laughs> And uh, Justin Bieber almost got voted to go to North Korea as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. You shouldn't have let off with, with content. I know. I shouldn't have. Sure the grand finale. There was no topping that. Oh. <laughs> well, I think that's how um San Diego's uh San Diego University or the the banana slugs or whatever. There was a college that their yeah. mascot is a banana yes. slug. I mean, that's a good one. That is a good that's one. Than... Thanks. Richie, is that a good one? You didn't get to go mascot? Good night. That'd be dumb. A scarlet night? There's so st- a red night. Come on now. Real original. We can do better than that. New Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. New Jersey. Get air. Okay. Sammy, do you have a better one? Do you have a better name? You were saying that you feel like you could do better. I have been really racking my brain and I can't come up with a better one. <laughs> there's just there's just something so elegant about plow and plow face. It's great. You know, you're right. I would like to name it like a real. I person. would have voted for Snowy One yeah. Kenobi. I think that's simple. I think it's chic. I think it's topical. Yeah. If if we could have hijacked it, we could have voted for it to be called Chris Saconis, the plow. <laughs> yeah, that's Chris that's Snowconis. That would be worth it. Chris Snowconis. And it's Sir Snow Cones. Well, I think Which Snow is enough. Ew, that is disgusting. Why? It serves snow cones from the snow Whoa. that they plow. Snow wow. outside <laughs> is so gross because um, our water stopped working, so we were melting snow in the living room, and we went outside and just scooped what looked like regular snow. When it melted, disgusting water. It tasted terrible, and there was tons of stuff floating in it. Wow. Sound like home again. I might have been drinking out of the toilet. It made it taste bad, but it was really gross. Yeah. We melted it in the bucket. Jay, yeah. you were you were pushing out some of the some of the top. Anything better? I, I mean, are you fine with Snowy McPlow? What was it? Plowy uh, McPlow uh, face? No, I feel like you have to do some sort of sexual innuendo, sexual innuendo <laughs> with plow. St. <laughs> Paul is not going to allow that. The city of St. Paul is not going to just allow something like that driving <laughs> on their street. Come not on, St. Paul, be cool. It's all right. If it was like maybe a more hip city. Maybe, maybe they could get away with it. But they should have did it for the plout. All right, we're gonna put them on timeout again. That's. I can't believe that joke was just made. That's, that's in twenty twenty one. Is Paul part of Twin Cities? Twin Cities, St. Paul, Minneapolis. I think so. Yeah. I mean, they employed the guy that killed George Floyd, so they'll let a lot of bad things walk their streets. I mean, come on now. Er. Uh. Politics on can we just talk? Let's, let's <laughs> Austin. I want to hear your final story. What do you have for us here? All right. Now that I've gotten the Florida to uh headline reads, I was gonna be a mashed potato. Florida boy recounts garbage truck horror. Uh, a Florida boy's attempt to hide in a trash can almost turned tragic when it was picked up by a garbage truck and nearly sent into the choppers. As the blades turned on. Um, That's just in a Toy Story. Isn't that insane? So the the driver saw the boy in the surveillance camera and and um, 
and stopped it. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah, it was uh, and rushed to turn the choppers off. Um, and the boy was hiding in there, and uh, this kid was was great. His quote, uh, they asked him, you know, he uh, Elias suffered a minor cut and the perhaps the beginning of a lifelong aversion to a certain household item. I don't like trash cans anymore, he told WFLA, uh, but he did make an exception. Unless it's like a tiny trash can that's inside the house, then it might be fine. So let, we're talking about, like, forgiveness here um this this boy is 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 where we need to be as a society uh, but could you imagine like he was hiding in a trash can i don't know why it didn't say why i know or, i get it i get it because i too as a child wanted to live out my raccoon fantasy wow and i feel like that's the best way to do it in a trash can in a trash can um, i guess it was he was probably playing a hide and seek right with himself it didn't well, with it. You could just say, hey. It's, it's not a very good spot, though. I mean, considering the garbage <laughs> man found him, found him. I mean, how good of a spot can it really be? I mean, this kid's got to step up his game. What if he was hiding from the uh, trash truck driver? Then it's a terrible spot. Terrible spot. That that's, that's, where he's, that's where he's going to check. Here's that's a good question. So, I don't know about you guys, but when does the garbage truck come around? Usually – Early in the mornings, right? I've run What's outside. What's this doing early in the morning okay. in the trash? Well, the garbage truck can't come to everyone early in the morning. You know, like but they do. Yeah, no, they got like, sections. like it's like Santa mine comes Claus. at like 10, 11, 10, 11. My recycling didn't even come. Let me let's talk about this recycling here in Warren County, okay? Uh, you didn't come and pick it up until three thirty in the afternoon, okay? I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Why I'm do you need it gone so bad? Go get a recycling can when it's dark out, okay? Why do you need it gone so bad? Why can't Why can't it be gone at three o'clock? Because I don't get it at three o'clock, and then I got to get it when it's dark out. You know how long my driveway is? I don't want to walk in the dark. I'm rich. I live in a literally like six city. steps. I'm not even I exaggerating. Live in a I have you a live five mile. Yeah, yeah, I live in a mansion. I live in the ice house, man. You guys are all in different rooms. This place is giant. All right, Jacob. I have a hypothesis. Well said. I have a hypothesis for why this child <laughs> was hiding in the trash. And I want to just say, and I'll, I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. I guess we're going to have to cancel Sesame Street, guys. Oscar the Grouch, terrible influence on children. Almost got this You're boy right. killed. We just we can't let our Sesame kids Street be watching that. It's you know, so, so inappropriate. Cancel it. No cancel more. It. Jabe, you're, really, you're gutsy tonight. You're going after everything. No one's safe. Not even Oscar. I agree. Nope. Not even Oscar. All right, we gotta do that for a little bit. Um, listen, I am I the only one who didn't know that garbage cans had blades in them? I thought it was a compactor. No, he was poured. I know, but he was saying that there was like blades in the. Yeah. In oh the, yeah. They they it down. Oh. Have you ever seen Toy Story? I thought it was like a giant compactor that pushed it down. Yeah. Well, what's easier to compact big solid items or like chopped up little pieces yeah, yeah, of? Yeah, it's like a hydraulic press. Like I feel like it's not hard. Garbage uh, this, look, uh, this guy's never, never worked a minimum wage job. I got job. What's your? I agree? worked a lower than minimum wage job. I, I earned two dollars an hour as a server. Okay, no. Well, you did because you didn't get good tips, but that's not how it's set up. Ooh. Troy, I'll come to your defense. Is, I didn't. Is, I, I didn't know that they had blades in in the. I didn't either. Right? The question that this elicits, though is what's your what's the worst way to like die your biggest fear because me be, being buried alive it, i would uh, it's the worst for me i, I feel I, like I, you I, kind I, of vibe being buried alive yeah, why you just get a really long straw no yeah. you couldn't no you're stuck you're literally stuck you can't move you're paralyzed you can't you am can't i in a coffin die. Even if you were in a coffin, you're you're stuck. There's you know it's tight. Stuck. It's not like a roomy thing. I mean, yeah. Mac Miller made it's it. Like it's mm -hmm. Also, like it's lack of there. oxygen, not yeah. a fun time. Yeah, no fear. What? Lack of oxygen, not a good time. Honestly, I feel like drowning. Yeah. I was gonna say, or you're like in a submarine and it starts ooh. Drowning is terrifying. Drowning is scary. Either be burned to death or drown. Drown because drown. of pain. Drown. But drowning is very scary. Oh, drowning is painful drown. too. You know how much pressure is down there? Listen, good good suggestion from Harry Browns. Stuck in a cave, like where you're going in, but you can't back out and you get stuck. Oh. Terrible. Oh. 
<laughs> terrifying. Uh, I still feel like fire's the worst one. Pain, you're yes. suffocate you're, you're, and you're gonna be gonna be like fire. fried almost immediately. Like your arms are gonna be on fire, and then I feel like you're not gonna be able to feel it. You're gonna feel it. Like fire oh, would be a slow oh. death. No, nah, you're gonna feel it, Rich. Fire is faster than than being buried alive. Imagine, would you rather two oh, weeks? Yeah, that's the slowest. Dark cave and you can't move. No one can hear you. You're stuck a mile. Well, you're gonna be there two weeks. Oh, I'll last that's longer when than two. No, no, you'll die no, faster you than that. After like two that's days. Field test. Yeah, yeah, you don't have any water. Compared to twenty minutes, that's terrible. Unless it rains, then maybe you'll last a little longer. But burning, oh, that's gonna yeah. be pain, like pain, pain. Yeah, and yeah. suffocation. That's like well, a listen, whammy. You, the faster the suffocation yeah. happens, the better, to be honest, though. Like, you yeah, want to suffocate yeah. as quickly as possible. Also, garbage can compactor with blades. That doesn't sound so good either. <gasps> what if you're, like, in oh, one better. of those cement mixers? That. I mean, yeah, I would take that over, like, fire. Like and, but you're, like, in this, and you get poured, and you're, like, That's stuck being drowned in and buried alive at the same what time. Drowned by cement. Mm. Quick sand. And then you're buried alive. Quick sand. Drowned by liquid bees. That would be even worse. What if you were killed? By what? By liquid bees. Liquid bees? No, you're right. I don't know what that is. What, honey? No, just liquid bees. Like, it's bees that sting you, but they're in liquid form. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that liquid bees? I, that's my biggest fear. <laughs> liquid bees. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't really be a... I gotta drink my coffee. As a resident entomologist bees. on the pod, I will say liquid bees do exist. Thank you. Is that real? Yep. Factual? Yep. Doubt it. They're real. Look it up. Doubt it. Richie, nice man bun. Ooh, oh, wow. Man. That's tough. Wow, Harry Browns. Oh my gosh. That's tough. Okay. All right, relax there. Okay. I don't know. This Listen, it's bad. it's great. It's Haters great. Fuel me. It's it's great that the driver saw it, first of all. Thank God that happened. Just try to keep your kid out of the garbage can. It sounds. How old was the kid? Do we know? Thinking. Let's get into religion here. Yeah, we already did politics. Let's do it. How How old was the kid? Do we know? Seven. 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 It's It's like one of the big garbage cans, right? That'd be. That'd be. That'd be. Oh, that would just be a a catastrophe. That would be so sad. That would be so sad if that little boy, like this person, is a hero. Like it's. It's insane. Could you? It's just so sad. It's crazy. So. It's. you know, it's a big garbage can, right? It's like one of the big, like ones at the end of your driveway. Yep. How does a seven year old? I feel like that's hard to climb into for a seven year old. I could get into it. I was climbing everything. You're 20 years old. I hope you can get into it. No, I'm saying when I was seven, I, I have to check into it. every so. time I back out of the, my my driveway. I have to check under the hood because it's warm under there, and he goes and lays up on the tires where it's warm near the radiator. Rich, you should you should you, sh- you should try it next time. One's garbage day for you guys. Uh, Thursdays. Let's see Why if the garbage guy spots you. I happened to see the garbage uh, man picking up the trash, and they didn't even they didn't have a lift. The guy was going by hand, grabbing it by oh. hand, throwing it in. That's sad. Oh. It sucks. Well, I feel like he would see Richie then, probably. <laughs> Richie would just what his man. Just, like, he grabs his man bun and, and he pulls just him right out. on the top. Of like in Harry Potter, that thing they pull out of the ground, it's like screaming. They pull him up by his man bun, and he's like, Sheesh. Puts him right back in. Puts him right back in. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Well, it's good. I'm glad that the garbage guy saw him. Um, it sounds like the kid's not going to be hiding in the garbage can. If he was playing hide and seek, I don't know if that counts as a win or a loss. His friend way, didn't find him. Oh, that's an L. Way to be a people pleaser, Troy. That's an easy opinion to take. Go ahead. Go with the whole crowd. Don't stand out. Don't have an independent thought. What are, you're glad. Go what are you going to say? I wasn't happy that he got found? Don't be a risk taker or anything. Oh my God. With everyone. What kind of host is this? Oh my What's the next topic here? That's it. That's our topics. No, I didn't plug yet. Remember, Polar Music every Friday, 6 p.m. Is that it? Yeah. I was just plugging. That's good. Oh, no. Anyone else have anything before we say our piece and close this one out? Uh, please follow me on Instagram at sammy.doloff. I post a lot of cool, fun, quirky things on there. Also, if you'd like to follow me on my uh, crochet account, it's Sammy Lee Labs. I'm Why doing commissions now. Plug like that, and I'm ridiculed for my. <laughs> Thank you for muting yourself. Awesome. I think that's going to do it for us here on Can We Just Talk. Wait, we you have to check in with Richie's week. That's his Oh, yeah, Richie, your story of the week that he did not plan for again. 
Well, you got to play the thing. Richie is Richie's Greg Cody, Troy. He comes on. He doesn't have any work, but he wants to promote. Hold on. I can I can, I can, can play it for you, maybe. I can play it for you, maybe. Hold on. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Cody. Maybe, he says. I don't know who Hold Greg on. Cody is, buddy. For local notes. I got Richie Welbrock. What am I supposed to say, Troy? <laughs> Even now, Rich. when he was making that, he didn't tell me he was making it. He just started making it. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Your story of the week. I um recorded a podcast with Nikki Brazina. Rich, I swear to God, if your story is just plugging, pull, or pull the music, please. I also learned that Nick, for the first time in his who is life. Nick? Who is Nick? No one knows who Nick is. Nick is one of the hosts of Poly Music. Everybody knows who he is. Explain that then. You're just be like, Nick, Nick, tell us. It's supposed to be in Richie's week. Yeah, it's not. And tell, it's not be like, week. Nick, my co-host from Poly Music. Because the general pe- audience will have no idea who Nick is. Who is you, Troy? Do I need a... Yeah, let's mute him. In conclusion. <laughs> you're going to grade this, Troy? Well, Mr. Con- two shirts. Con- context does help. So Nick, co-host. I learned today that Troy is wearing two freaking shirts, like a loser, <laughs> and wow. one of them is salmon colored, pink. Who would wear pink? I'm wearing pink. Who would wear pink? So is that your story of the week? Horrible. Um, was- I was gonna tell you wow. about how my co-host Nick learned how to do a cartwheel this week, mm-hmm. but nobody wanted to hear about that. What is he creep? It was a good no. It's like a good cartwheel. Like I'm saying, like no, it's not cartwheel. Like full formation. I mean, he was moving. Italians are not meant to cartwheel. We don't do that. Richie, yeah. next time, next time, bring a video so I can share the video with people. So we. I will. I'll get a video of Nick doing a cartwheel. I will do that. that. Wait, hold on. That should be Richie's. That should be Richie's segment. Video of the week with Richie. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, we're doing that next week. Okay, we're always we're always evolving. We're always learning. We'll see if the internet can handle that on our end. But I think that's going to wrap it here for Can We Just Talk. Appreciate everyone coming out. Thank you, Sammy, for filling in for Sacco and being shameless when it comes to plugging your own personal media account. So glad to see that as well. Of course. Can we just talk? What? I have more followers than you. Uh, thanks for having me on. This is Austin from Deep Fried Medicine. Drops every Thursday. Can we just talk? Episode 22 in the books. I appreciate everyone coming out. Glad we had this going and make sure to stay tuned. More content coming out this week. Deep Fried Medicine, Polar Music, as always. Uh, Polar FC starting up soon. So excited to see what Jacob's got there with Chris and Kaor. So make sure to stay tuned. We got more stuff coming out soon. Can we just talk?